Hi everyone, I'm Lady, uh, I'm Lady Boss, I'm Big, Big, Big Boss Mega Danger, Big Mean Mega Danger, and as you can see, we're gonna eat some snakes today. Uh, thank you all for being here, yeah, we are playing Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence on the PlayStation 2. This is, I bel unless I'm completely wrong, this is first in the timeline in Metal Gear, so, the idea, we are going to play through the entirety of Metal Gear Solid, we're gonna do three all the way to four. How very exciting! Also, I do want to say, if you want to play the retro games, because the remake's coming out, if you want to play the retro game, I do have to say, Subsistence is the best version. It's You'll see why, but it's just the best version. Nothing wrong with vanilla, but this is the best version. What is this? Beloved Fever, oh, Mistress Star, oh, what's going on? What is, y'all, what is happening right now? It is so kind of yins. There we go, Jesus H. Christ. I'm so sorry. What is going on? Mr. Start with the bits. Thank you. That's very kind. I appreciate it. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna- it's gonna show up again. I promise. It'll show up again. Oh yeah, all the snakes. The yummy yummy snakes, y'all. Let's do this. So, I used to play this game religiously, right? Let's check this out really quickly. Slot- slot one. It's gonna take a sec. That number seven is how many times I beat the game. I have, so what we can do, once we get to this location in our playthrough, we can jump over and get all of our like post game, super duper whatever the, or not. We don't have to. I always thought I played on medium. I played on easy, that's okay. It's okay, we might play on, we might play on medium, but I'm just letting y'all know. So no death run, yup. You have to do that to get a certain camo. You have to do, yeah. You have to do no deaths. You have to do no alerts. You have to do all that shit, baby. Do you mean now we're doing a no death row? Get, get out of town. No. We're going to start a new game. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid for the first time. I like Metal Gear Solid 1. I like all of them, but I'm going to pick Metal Gear Solid 3. I think that's the most interesting choice. Walk in the park. Non-action experts. They might give us a run for our money. It's gonna be tough. Forget about it. Game ends when being seen by the enemy. I think we should- I think we should just do easy. We should just do easy. I've always wanted to check out Unmetal Temp Via. Unmetal looks like a lot of fun. Did I unbutton my boy? I did. Oops. Let's- let's get started. Let's get started. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. I almost read that. I'm glad I didn't have to. Konami presents. This is our cigar, by the way. We don't have a cigar today. This is your favorite franchise? Mine too. We are kindred spirits. Ryan, hello! Joining us on YouTube, how are you? Welcome! We're, 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 we're doing it, baby. Thanks for joining us. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Oh, Mr. Star, thank you so much for that. Okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? See, it's been 45 minutes and we haven't done anything. 
There are a lot of cutscenes in this game. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. And Snake's just giggling like, I know what I'm, I know what I'm doing. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Sunrise. You know anything about Metal Gear? This is the beginning. This is the very beginning, baby. External temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. It's very military heavy. It's very, yeah. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Activate bailout bottle. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. World's first metal gear jump. Stand by. Status okay? Oh. Yeah, the music's super exciting, isn't it? Prepare for drop-off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Spread your goddamn fucking wings and get the fuck out of here. Leave the nest. That's it. On to Metal Gear Solid. Another game. I've got some important news. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities, and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov? Isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well, Damn! The Damn! It was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said- In her street, yes, thank you. ...multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. Oh, shit. Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh, shit. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. 
president demanded the Soviets dismantle. If there are any historical events happening during a Metal Gear Solid game, they will talk about it in great fucking detail. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships. West End girl, sinful. How are you? Welcome. Soviet Do the snake voice. Uh. Uh, West End girls. UN's emergency security council. East End boys and West End girls. How was that? Not as good as David Hayter. The Soviet. <laughs> Move its missiles from Cuba. This is the point the U.S. was at its highest uh, at DEFCOM 2. Oh shit! But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the two one minutes to midnight? To remove its IRBMs from Turkey. No. Turkey. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in. Turkey I could go for some Turkey. We were gonna get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. Sure. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. I sound exactly like him. Thank you. Was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. 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 So they have Sokolov, and we gotta bust him out. That's really all you need to know. We gotta bust our buddy out of there. This is a secret black ops mission to break out that dude. Why do they want him? They're building some kind. They're they're building some kind of metallic gearical thingy. Listen up, Jack. You're Look at me. Look at me. In the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the West. Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A Look at me. balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. His grunt- I know! Take it easy. He's getting out of bed. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Also, the Vulcans are in this. This is also tied in with Star Trek for some reason. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home Technically. Dinner. Technically. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. We're getting started with Metal Gear, baby. This is the beginning. This is the this is the start of it all. Metal Gear. That's right. Ears tingly. He immediately he immediately lands and fucks everything up. Uh, my ears are tingly. They're bleeding. I can't see anything. Emergency evac. I fucked up the landing.
Look at him go! Look! He's taking it all off. You better believe it, baby. You better believe it. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. He is taking it all off, isn't he? Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one. <laughs> it turns me on to hear that you've eaten reptiles. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. But up there it says Major Zero. This will be a sneaking mission. It changed! Be seen by the enemy. Calling me out! In face of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment to procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. Yes. We have to hunt for food in this game. We can lose our hunger. We don't have to do anything about it but it'll make our stamina go down a lot and then it, that will make our health go down very quickly crab battle uh, we will watch that when we when we come across a crab i guarantee so the game starts and it's like this this kind of top down thing you can look around the reason why i recommend subsistence you click R3. You can move the camera anywhere you want. And it really helps with this game. That's the camera that is in the 3D re-release. That is the camera that is in the remake, evidently. I recommend it. But we're going to stick with this. No, we're not. We're going to do whatever I feel, because I can do whatever I want. It's massive claws. Ugh! Time to time to time to, 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 to eat some eat some snakes. We're gonna eat them all, baby. What did I pick up? <laughs> What's the button? Triangle. I pressed that twice prior, but that's okay. Check it out. Yes. Yes. No, I'm not answering it. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. Oh, oops. That's the boss! I'm skipping it! Oops! Such is the... Such is playing Metal Gear. Snake. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. She is our boss, also named the boss. Commencing virtuous mission now. Commencing virtuous mission. Now. He like he waits, right? Okie dokie, now what? Snake, you tell me what to do. So now we got our backpack, which means we can change our camouflage. Check it out. Look at all these camouflages we have. Black tarn, baby. Face. I'm gonna be a fuck. I'm gonna be a femboy. Check me out. That comes into play later. Snake, don't do that! Soviet Union. These, I've never, like, why would you ever equip, like, why would you equip that? Look at Snake do his thing. 
Also, you cannot crouch and walk in this game. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing, baby. Gotta let them watch us synchronize. That's right. CQC, my next username change. There you go. So, y'all, I... If you have any questions about Metal Gear lore, I could I could try my best to answer them for you. I'm not kidding. I've played this game a lot. I've played a lot of them a lot. A lot of them a lot. Of them a lot. Oh, yeah, the monkey mask. Sweet. All right. That's what it's like when we look in first person. Why no snake uh, face paint? I don't know. They don't give him like a snake to put on his face, like a cool tattoo. I'm going to punch this gator in the face. I'm not going to do that. All right, we got a suppressor and everything. I'm gonna get my ass kicked by this fucking croc. Yup. Oops. I mean, my boyfriend played this one, but he liked it, but he would scream uh, from the camera angles. Oh yeah. That's why you. That's why you gotta. That's why you gotta turn it around, baby. Get the remake, y'all. It's coming out. I'm not paid to say that, but I, I, I mean, I could be. FNAF prototype, what? My name's not Steve, what? Oh, a Sonic voice. Metal Gear, how did I not see that? Metal Gear. I just saw the text, Metal Gear. I didn't see that you redeemed it as a Sonic voice. Colonel, Metal Gear. There's a bipedal nuclear, uh, walking battle tank. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. They're armed with 556ers five, five, and pineapples. And grenades. Yup, uh, basically the same thing. I've just always remembered that from the first game. Snake? Your presence in Soviet territory. Solid snakes, like they're armed with five, five, sixers and pineapples. And I don't know what that means. And the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by- I know! Time to go in guns blazing, fuck them up in an action game! Nope. It does not really accommodate that playstyle. You can do that. There are weapons that allow you to do that. But that's not really the point of the game, you know what I mean? See, here comes a boy. Let's try to take him out. Mark 22! Uh, let's do this. Yes, thank you for that lurk. No problemo. Knocked him out. What a little bitch. And then we can shake him down and get supplies. Huh. Wow, thanks. Wow, check it out, Dad. I found some fruit. Check it out, Mom! What if my parents were watching in the other room? Hang on, do I have- I do have a sonar, yeah. Alright, cool. Fruits! I didn't know about that. Yeah, baby! You can, you can get some fruits! Look at that. There's another one or two. Look at- look at us! We're making, we're making, we're making bank. Look at 
us! We're hunting and gathering! Uh, how do we get down? Major, I climbed a tree, and it's really high, and I'm really scared. Snake, you are not the man for the job. Ah, oh, shucks. Wait, was that another fruit I see behind me? Indeed it was. I'm a vegan. We're not gonna eat no snakes. We're not gonna eat no snakes. Oops. See, there I go trying to trying to crouch walk. Gotcha in the face, bitch. Oh, I thought there was just two dudes. Oops. We're fine. That was almost a fucking disaster, but it's completely cool. Right? Jeez, it's like a fucking Looney Tunes bit. Just take them out! Just take them out! If you are seen by them, Snake does make a comment about it. He might make a comment about it. Cue the clown music. Right? I'm fucking... I'm not... I'm, come on. I'm trying my best here. Snake's sly little shit-eating grin. You're... Baby, it's okay. It's your first day on the job. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That grin, right? That shit-eating grin on Snake's face. Gotty. Gotty. Oh! 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 Shit! No way! What the fuck is that, you're wondering? Yeah, it's- it's literally not important. It literally is not important. Exum was you and 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 out of mud and... I don't... And let's not. Let's actually not continue that thought. Isn't there a dude over here? Not yet. Diaper rash. Yeah, Snake's just getting diaper rash in the fucking jungle, isn't he? Yeah, eating mushrooms and fruit in the jungle. Rasvet. What does that mean, though? So we're gonna rescue Sokolov and we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Quick and easy virtuous mission. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. Supposedly being held. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. But not as tight as this outfit. Sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Yeah. 
Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Yup. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. Uh -huh. There's more. <laughs> no, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. What? And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Here we go. There's just two dudes. Um, go in the grass. Yeah, we're playing on easy, y'all. I'm not scared to admit that. I'm not scared to admit that this game scares me. It doesn't, though. Uh, tell me this isn't a fucking horror game, right? See, I almost got caught by this wing ding. Let's get no alerts. Let's try our best not to get seen by the M enemy. You know, let's try our fucking absolute brat worst. Oops. It's circle to select. That's what's confusing me. Look. You gotta eat your food by equipping it. But you know what that means? What the fuck is happening? I'm fed as me to the raid! Oh! Hey. Welcome. I'm Lady Mega Danger, and welcome to... Thank you for so much for that raid. Can we get a shout out for Aphasia Speaks, please? That really hurt my fucking ear. Yikes. Let me give you a shout out. It's wonderful to see you. Welcome. Goodness fucking gracious. We're chilling with some Metal Gear today. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. And Rothy, hello. How are you? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Goodness fucking gracious. Oh, my God. I'm so discombobulated. All right. How do you become recombobulated? Let's do Let's do this. We're rescuing Sokolov. We're doing our thing and we're we're feeling fine today. Thank you so much for that raid. It's great to see you. Welcome. How have you been? How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's do this, y'all. If you got a raid and run, I totally get it. Thank you so much for for, for bringing your community here. We're just vibing. We're having a, we're having a gay old time. Oh, look at that. Snake, get over the thing. I can't like vault over it. Who's that? That's okay, check it out. Check it out. No alert run starting after this alert phase. I was just trying to get that shotgun. We're gonna use the fake death pill. They're gonna be they're gonna be bamboozled by this whole fucking thing. Looks like he's dead. Do they know I do they know I'm a faker? They know I'm a goddamn faker. Just my luck. The radio man must have got yeah, yeah. Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. I'm pressing the wrong button. Yeah. There we go! Yeah <laughs> baby! It ain't that hard. It ain't that hard. Ugh. Oh, where's a box when you need one? All right, how is everybody? Been good, we chilled this morning watching some 90s Nick shows! Fuck! 
Fuck yeah, that's awesome. What's your favorite? Mine might be Rocco. Mine might be Rocco. We touching ourselves in the woods, yeah. Major. I ate some mushrooms. Tom and Jerry, there you go. That's a good cartoon. When I got that alert, I almost reset the system. I almost restarted the entire thing. One of Vulcan's men. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. Don't lie to me. What does it mean? Like, we've got no time for this. What snake? What a silly code. Who's there? Gamer Herb, hello. Welcome. Glad you like the look. Know him as Thunderbolt. Welcome. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist. Can I bring this look to a con Eventually, yeah. Eventually, yeah. You better believe it. Since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far, but the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. I like Volgan. He's cool. He's cool. I got a crush on him, kind of. I don't know why I said I did not think about that or process that before I said it. I just kind of said it. I like him. Then the soldiers outside. Emma Gaming HQ, hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Shit. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. Leave it to Beaver. By the way, your Russian is superb. Thanks. Yo soy Tambien, Snake. From my mentor. Is that so? America's truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. I just love that Snake's speaking Russian this entire time. Like, oh, obviously, of course. I mean, yes, but also, of course. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. 
We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? Uh... I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? No comment on whether or not I was seen, just... Don't worry. Don't worry. I managed somehow to get away from him. I see. That's how good he is at rushing. You don't even know he's speaking it. Exactly. We're going to skip the next cutscene. Flashbacks, maybe. Kodak calls, perhaps. Cutscenes, you really can't skip them. I know you want to, especially in 4. There is a 90 minute cutscene in MGS4. Grab some popcorn. Some deviled eggs. Just like the movies. Seriously, yup. I think it's the one right after London when you beat chapter 3. 90 fucking minutes. Also, the ending is extremely long, too. That might be the ending. Freeze! <gasps> so it didn't matter. I got an alert anyway. This fucking sucks. How do you beat the game? I got an alert. Yeah, I don't understand. Huh? huh? We meet at last. What? Oh, I dropped it. Oops. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Yeah, he a cutie. He's a cutie. Don't you forget it. Rawr, which he will do as, as well. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? <laughs> Oh, beautifully done. Can I kiss you? Damn. And before they curve the bullets. Yeah, he feels good to kill a comrade. He curves that shit. Sokolov, take cover. Not Snake Sing Meow, a fanfic I never thought I'd want to see. I'm sure there's a lot of them. I'm sure there's plenty of them. You're not the boss, are you? I said he'd do it. Crew operatives. What's, What's manlier than doing that to summon your assassins? <laughs> Maybe going. <laughs> <laughs> 
If you're not the boss, then die. Ooh! Oh, close quarters combat! Oh! Major! Leave it! Shoot the other one! Whoa! What's missing from my outfit? Is it the little earplug? The mullet? Cat ears. Now I really want to do an ocelot look. Just do an ocelot cosplay with fucking cat ears. That'd be very cute. Impossible. You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. Filthy American dog! Snake telling him to use a revolver. Why'd he do it? But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> now kiss. Your your wish might be granted, Sinful. If you want Snake and Ocelot to kiss, your wish will someday be granted. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov. For real? Apparently they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. Oh, he's full of zingers. I... King Monster, welcome. How are you? Ran off by himself. Welcome. I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. We just rescued Sokolov and beat the shit out of a pretty boy. They kiss in the last game of the series. In MGS4, during the final fight, when you're like locked in and wrestling each other they lean they they can lean in and kiss each other that is a very real thing that can happen so it's a slow burn oh yeah and it has a chance of happening right so we're gonna just keep replaying that part till they till they make out baby i'm gonna see if there's anything else here i don't believe so and i don't think those dudes are gonna wake up fuck it we'll come back What camo do you want? What camo do you want? Give him a fucking mask so he looks nothing like Snake in the next cutscene? Make him naked. Live up to his fucking name. Who is this guy? Who is it? Memory card. Slot one. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is all the Metal Gear Online stuff. That's Raiden, it is. 
Raiden is in the game. If you choose at the beginning, I like MGS2, then you start out wearing that mask, and then he like... Uh, Anubis? What's Anubis? Don't you love how long it takes? Oh, that's interesting. Chameleon, St. Valentine's Day. Uh, <coughs> the mummy. How is that minus 20? Oh, well, that looks good. What's the rainbow? Let's let's do Raiden Rainbow. Ocelot, come here, daddy. Ocelot, come here, daddy. Was that good, Mistress Star? Granting your wish, quote by quote. We got this. We we are riding in the rainbow. A lot. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit. Spetsnaz? Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished. Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Look. That's what they were making you build? Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth. A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of phase one. There are five cinematic phases left. To complete phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. It starts with Age of Ultron. The colonel gets his hands on it. It will mean the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. What did I tell you? Oh, I shit. Had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America. Quickly! They cannot complete it without my... You'll be fine, dude. Don't worry. Got it. Let's go. Nope. We made a good choice for the cutscene. We made a good choice. Not snake, not camouflage. There is a lore reason why Snake has that mask. They explain everything if you dive deep enough, y'all. Oh shit. It's the boss. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. No, not the bees. Hornets. 
see ya. Yeah! Oh shit, it kind of is vamp. Oh my god, I never thought about that before. The fear is vamp. Really, I never, I never thought about that before. I'm a wingding. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Welcome back, boss. Whoa! All five of us are together. It's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? There's Vulcan. Oh, ah, what a joyful scene, Colonel Vulcan. Welcome to my country and to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us Cobras. We're the Cobras! We're cool! What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? face we can't let him live oh Chef finds out about this we're finished he must die that's so Animu. Some fucking dude with electric powers with bullets between his fingers, ready to punch someone into a into a beat down. Beat someone into a punch down. You can't come with us. Got him! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! The new blood. 
God has been rejected. Are we done here? Now, onto Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. We're really gonna do it. We're really gonna, we're gonna get it done. Drift away. My place is with them now. Dude, whatever. Whatever, dude. Like, what did I, what did I ever do to you to make you like give up on me like that, dude? Snake, can you hear me? No. Yeah, just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? No. You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? OK, Snake. Just relax, and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. No. First, open the survival. You'll see me do it. You'll see me do it. Check it out. Check it out. Let's change our fucking... Oh, we can't. That's okay. Oops, wrong button. Maybe I should have watched the tutorial. All right. Look at all these things wrong with us. We got to cut. So here's what we got to do. We got to disinfect the cut. Put a bandage on it. Maybe even sew it up a little bit. And it's bleeding... Yeah. What is that? A broken bone? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yes. A little bit of a knife. Just makes them tougher. It makes them tougher. You know what I'm saying? Oops. We did surgery in the Russian wilderness. Now another 45 minute cutscene, but that's all there is to it. It's an easy game. This is the end of the entire game. That was it, we beat it. Short game, very fleshed out. Always using the band, no, no, no. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Yeah, make me do fucking everything.
Yeah. Yeah. That's sad, right? Credits. And C. with his new toys. I'm so excited. <laughs> Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohad. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. So fast, my dear. Uh oh. Uh oh. A kiss of death. Are you KGB. We may be able to use her. Take her back to the base. Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. <gasps> it looks like a Nerf toy. Nerf or nothing. You're still our countryman. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> the Alamo. Colonel! How does that apply in this context, Colonel? Recovery balloon. He's awfully close to that blast. Wonder what happens if he has kids. Mission complete. Easy. Easy. That was the virtuous mission. We fucking did it. That's the tutorial. We'll see you in the full game. Thanks for hanging out.
Fuck you, fuck, 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 yeah.